Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to use our TI-89 calculator to help us out today to find the cubic regression curve for our data. So as you can see, I've written down all of our data, and we want to put this into the calculator and have it find the regression. So let's go ahead and grab that calculator. should look something like this. And to enter in all of this data, we're going to go into Apps. We're looking for the Data Matrix Editor. Once you find it, press enter, and it'll bring up the screen. We're going to create a new list, so I'm selecting number three. And now we've got a few different options. The first thing we want to enter in is the type. So since this is just a list, I'm going to press my right arrow, then down to list, press enter. Store this in the main folder. And for the variable, you can really give it any name you want. I'm just going to go ahead and, and maybe call it something like E, just to make it nice and simple. Okay, now we'll press Enter, and Enter again. Now it's basically going to bring us into what looks like a spreadsheet. And so you go through and you enter in your data, one at a time, and you see I just entered in 1910, it dropped me down, and I'd go on to 1920. And we continue entering in all of our data until we have it. So I'm going to pause the video and skip ahead until I have all of this data entered in. There we go. Now I have all of my data entered into the calculator. Now some important things you want to notice is the names at the top of these lists. So I have C1 and C2. Those will be important. Okay, so I want to form this regression line. I'm going to go up here and press F5 for Calc. Now this first option says Calculation Type. I'm going to press the right arrow and scroll down until I have Cubic Regression selected and press Enter. Let's move down. And now it wants to know what variables to use. This is where I'm going to use my C1 for the first variable and now I'm going to use C2 for the second variable. Now one handy option that you can also do is if you go down one more it says store regression equation 2 and right now it's selected to none press the right arrow and let's go ahead and store our regression equation into Y1 enter. Alright so once you have everything entered in let's press enter one more time Calculator will think for a bit and actually gives us the coefficients of the cubic regression. So that you'll notice it gives us the coefficients A, B, C, D, and even gives us the R squared, the correlation coefficient. Well, that's excellent. Let's press Enter. Now, if you ever want to take a look at it or do some evaluating, you can go to your Y equals screen, and you'll see that the, the calculator is storing it just like we want. Now one thing you might be interested in is how well does our data actually match up to this regression curve that we just formed? Well, let's go back into Apps, find the Data Matrix Editor, and now let's go to Current. We might want to actually plot this data along with the curve. So I'm going to go to F2 where it says Plot Setup. Right now everything is blank, so let's go to F1 to define a new plot. And right now it says the type is scatter, which is perfect. It's going to mark each of our points as a little box. And here's where we can say where to pull that data from. So we're going to enter in those lists, C1 and C2 again. Now that we have our list, we'll hit enter, and enter again. Now it's not going to bring up anything, but you will notice that something is actually stored into plot 1. This is perfect. Now I've already set up the graphing window to be between, say, 1900 and the year 2000, and the y values to be between negative 10 and 500 just to accommodate our data. And if I go to my graphing window, 
we're going to see those boxes representing our data and the line it's plotting is the regression curve. As you can see the curve is actually a pretty good fit. Now if you'd like to see some more videos please visit mysecretmathtutor.com